Let's talk about the useless standard of perfection in case of Brahmas. Alright, so I have this male right in front of me. He's not perfect by no means. But since due to lack of content available on YouTube, that explains these things in a better manner. I have decided just to make a video. You could probably find better content online. Uh, one of the recommendations I would give you, all countries have separate standards. The European or German one is a bit different from the American one or the Australian one. They have different kinds of back that they like, body shapes. I've generally found the ideal shape to be a bit more different between U's and that Nike tick mark uh, from the saddle to the top of the tail. Anyhow, one thing I would recommend you to do would be to contact or uh, join groups. You don't need to buy the standard of perfection books. Just ask those admins or those experts who probably have those books to supply you with... Um, what should I call it? Uh, it's those specific pages that discuss those points. And you should spend some time uh, looking at those points if you're investing so much in these birds and trying to breed them. You'd be surprised to know many of those points actually have some reasoning behind them. I mean, why yellow beaks are preferred over white ones and why they should have specific kind of feather shape because they are usually associated to physical traits. The coloration you might see, genes express that and they also affect other areas of the body. I'll discuss that in a later video. But just to go overview with um, what sort of standards you should keep in mind, let's start with the face. So in the case of the face, an ideal comb is a pea comb and it to be sh it ideally should be short and compact. This guy has a pea comb but it's really large. large sorry. So yeah, that's not exactly ideal in terms of standard. You should have like a shorter pea comb. Um, and I'm not gonna show any picture of it because I'm lazy. Not gonna edit video that much. But yeah, you just get a rough idea from this video. Uh, wattles, they should be red in color. You'd free of any white feathers. And uh, you should avoid whitish earlobes. I mean, these things over here, they're called earlobes. So they shouldn't be white, that's considered a genetic defect and that defect is really difficult to eliminate in future generations. The beak is fine, the beak needs to be yellow, not white or brown or black or something like that, you need yellow beaks. I believe this is, uh, this applies for all standards. Uh, and what else is there? Coloration? The coloration is different, so let's just go over body standard, bodily standards in this case. So there needs to be uh, like a V, I think it's a U shape in case of Australian standard and American standard while the Euro European one prefers sort of more of a V shaped body. And in terms of the back line, your head and your tip of the tail needs to form a straight line. It needs to be at the same level. But there's also the part that the back, uh, from the top of the saddle to the top of the tail, some prefer a U. This guy forms more of a tickish, uh, like a tick mark, a V shape that's more in line with the Euro European standard, I believe. When it comes to their feathers, it needs to be a straight line <laughs> over here. Yeah, he's starting to get a bit fidgety right now. Anyhow, so you need a straight line at the the feather needs to be straight i mean they don't need to be drooping or split wings or something along those lines that's supposed to be against the standard as far as i know the saddle feathers are uh, flowing down nicely saddle is that back area i believe uh, i think they need to meet the end ends of the feathers i'm not sure the tail needs to be a uh, uniform or uh, not like a what do they call it give me a second not split in two sections, uh, like sort of like a, I don't know, yeah, like a palm tree. Yeah, we don't want a palm tree shaped tail. It has to be uniform. Some have a tail that sort of moves in those lines and that's also, I believe, against the standard. From the back side, the tail needs to be, it needs to form like a U shape, I believe. I don't really understand why they make it so complicated. Uh, but yeah, just some of the tips, the feather, the legs need to be yellow. Uh, your feathering needs to be decent. You don't need vulture hawks. Those are these areas. Vultures would be like really larger sized hawks. Those are against the standard. What else is there? Um, I mean, he's not perfect when it comes to color, I believe. 
the stripes are not as thick but then again yeah but then again just making this video to go over some points due to lack of any available on youtube so if someone is there uh do make a better video later on but yeah these are some of the points that i remember off the top of my head about brahmas do i care about that obviously not i'm not breeding these guys for participating in a show and just because a chicken might not be up to the standard that doesn't mean it's not a good chicken all right he this guy is really amazing even if he he has a weird comb or whatever the case is and that hen she's like a mixed bizarre color but still i like her and i like this guy as well not keeping chickens to participate in a show but still if you have those intentions or you're trying to keep them i mean most of us don't do that but still uh, those who are trying to breed them and sell them and keeping them for commercial purposes uh, this is sort of a good thing to keep in mind you should do some investment in learning about the species as well that you are spending or investing money on uh, if you're if you have commercial reasons for keeping them in mind